I wanted to give him all the taste of Jerusalem to offer him up to him. And at the beginning, I really didn't think. I mean, that was all to take home originally. I didn't think I was going to be doing this. I even bought two black cups. And he told me, if you're willing to drink of the black cup, I will give you the nations. It's like go into your fears. And you go into your fears with him. And then there's no fear. But look at all these fruits. You don't believe the smells here. Oh, this one's starting to rot too. Shoot, I have two rotten ones I can't offer those. But all these fruits, I, I mean, cactus fruit, persimmons. Um, gosh, I don't even know what. This one is so fragrant, if you can only smell it. Oh my gosh, all this stuff. And I know this is all the stuff that he loves. Yeah. It's all the smells of Jerusalem. Oh, and I don't know if people offer it up to him, but that's what he's... I didn't plan on this. I'm just going as I'm going with my heart. And he says, go bless Israel. And make a feast. And like I said, originally I didn't think I was going to be eating it. But now I'm told I'm a priest and I can eat of it. So, pomegranate. 613 laws. This is the biggest blessing. That's why the priests had this on, this gar on their garments. Is to know his laws. Each one of them has a little sweetness and a nut. Or seed. Oh, it's a seed of connection to him. That grows into a connection to him. Hallelujah. Ah, toda, ba, toda. Did you guys hear that? Each one of those laws is a connection to him. This is the marriage. This is the marriage fruit right here. Hallelujah. Oh my gosh, he's just pouring the love in right now. But this is his... Uh, oh my gosh, this is, this is a wedding feast. I got married last night. I'm getting... Or I'm just, he's giving me little gifts before the great, great marriage. But oh my gosh, I can't tell you the, the, the joys that I'm feeling. The freedom that I felt yesterday. I'm sorry I had to do it. <laughs> I'm not sorry. He asked me to and I did it. So, I'm not ashamed. At all. People try to make me feel ashamed and I'm not going to feel it. Because that shame comes from... Actually... Unfortunately, where that comes from sometimes is um, it's our own sin. So if we can look at something and not, not make a sin, it's not unholy. Um, things that used to bother me in the past, now I have total freedom of and I can look at all day long and not be, you know, my flesh not be aroused in any way possible. When before it would, it would have gone nuts. So that's the power of the spirit over the flesh. That's why he gave me the pain.